Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Aniki Wafi from Aniki TV. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the post that I made about a week ago. So my brother took his motherboard, and I'm start with the MSI A320 Pro VH Plus, which is has no support on Ryzen 3 3200G, which is unfortunate. But luckily few days after uh, I found a post on Facebook a guy that looking for a A320 motherboard and he wants to swap with his ASRock B550M HDV so I contacted him and yeah I got the motherboard so I finished rebuild the computer and then I've done a, a 3D 3D mark benchmark or fire strike is it fire strike? no it's time spy benchmark so after doing a 3D benchmark and do some tests on the PC I noticed that something is problem with the the Ryzen 3 PC sometimes it took a while for it to boot to Windows and everything in my hard drive is gone and then I noticed that the hard drive also feels really hot so I find out that the power supply is faulty and this is not the first time it happens it happens before when my brother still using the power, the power supply it's his power supply before and it happened to him before and unfortunately his hard drive and cannot be used anymore because of that power supply and thankfully I find out early before my hard drive gone so I asked my boss to lend some money for me so I can buy a new power supply and my boss said yes so immediately I contact the store through Facebook and thankfully the store immediately replied to my DM and yeah I got the power supply it's in the back there the box you can see it there it's super super flower legion hx 650 watt 80 plus gold non-modular by the way i thought it was mo full modular or semi-modular or something but it's actually a non-modular so yeah i get the pc up and running again safely my hard drive is fine and i did another test uh, 3d benchmark test as you can see here the score is slightly different the previous one is higher overall score than the current one although the CPU score is a little bit higher than the previous one it's fine I think it's fine I don't know why and how but I think it should be fine As you can see here, the CPU temperature is reaching 78 degrees Celsius, the highest, 78.25. But the GPU is 55 degrees Celsius, 55.99 degrees Celsius maximum. So this is great. Even though the GPU load is around 100% almost all the time but the, the GPU temperature never reach above 60 or above 70 degrees Celsius even though the result is not that great and you also can find me on Twitch I am live streaming on Twitch almost every day so I guess that's it Thanks for watching guys. See you guys whenever I post a new video next. Bye bye and Sumiko. Thank you very much.